Hello everybody, Despicable Me 1, let's do this. This is the only Despicable Me movie that I've seen before. I've seen Minions, but that's kind of a sub-series. Um, so I haven't seen two or three. I saw this one. Pretty sure I've only seen it once when it came out. Maybe I watched it one or two times since then, but I don't remember. So revisiting it now, let's get into my thoughts. Right away, my first thought, as the credits were rolling... Uh, was that I had forgotten that Miranda Cosgrove was in this. And then shortly after that, I saw Julie Andrews' name in this. So then I looked up the cast, and I had no idea, or I, I guess I should say I didn't remember, how big of names they had in this cast. Obviously, Steve Carell, that's the one that you know I remembered, but Jason Segel, Russell Brand, Kristen Wiig, Will Arnett, Jack McBriar, and Ken Jeong are all in this movie, which, you know, I guess it's pretty common for animated movies to have popular voice actors now, but I don't know. I just, like I said, I, I had forgotten that, and uh, so it was kind of weird to be reminded of all that with the credits at the beginning. But Miranda Cosgrove, in particular, stuck out to me because of a video that I've seen recently. Uh, and you may, you may think you know what I'm talking about, but I'm actually talking about something else that's referencing what you might think I'm talking about. Which I will link in the description. Check it out. Um, but moving on from the cast. the This movie, I think, and we'll get to it when we talk about Minions. But this movie, on its own, as a movie, I think is pretty good. right? Especially for a kid's movie. It's got a lot of funny little things, right? And... You can hate the minions and all everything about them and all everything on Facebook and all, you know, I get it. I'm not saying you're wrong, but if you take that away and you focus on just the movie, the opening uh, introduction to Groot when he's going along and the kid dropped his ice cream and he's like, "Oh, the kid said," and he gives him a, a balloon animal, right? And the kid's so happy and then he pops it. That's great. That's a great introduction to the character. It's a great funny joke, and there are so many. Little lines and little gags. There's this visual gag when the kids first come to his house and there's like this taxidermy lion head on the wall, but the lion head has a dog in its mouth. The dog has a cat in its mouth. The cat has a mouse in its mouth. And it's just like, that's that's funny. It's funny and that's clever. That's not the kind of thing that you see a lot. But at one point I just started writing down quotes. I had forgotten how many quotes from this movie I have either used in the past in, in college i know i used a lot of these um or some of them i still use or even if i don't use them anymore when other people use them i still get them and i still understand them so just a few of these we've got the light bulb that was a big one back in the day does this count as annoying i say that all the time and variations on that obviously we've got the iconic what from the minions which again I understand people that are annoyed with that because of things outside of the movie, but in the movie, it's a great line. Uh, the the two the the, the one-two punch of the fluffy lines, right? The it's so fluffy, I'm gonna die, and then followed later by the it's so fluffy again. Huge quotes when I was in college. Do you know what that means, Professor? Just that delivery by Jack McBriar. I feel like I've used variations and heard variations on that one. <laughs> In terms of money, we have no money. Just uh, these lines, I think, are are funny, but I've never realized how many of them came from this movie. And then at the end, with uh, Hector on the moon, where he just goes, "Oh poop!" Um, just a lot of just a lot of good funny lines in this, which I did not, I haven't given this movie the credit in my head that it deserves from having so many funny lines that you can just throw into everyday conversation no problem uh and then we get the the presentation meme right that is still going strong to this day where he's taking down the the um you know the papers on the presentation board and then there's the one there that he doesn't expect lots of great memes that have come out of that but speaking of memes let's talk about minions and again i get it if you're going to tell me that you hate minions because of all the stupid memes that they're on that ants share on facebook i get it but that's not the movie's fault. So let's talk about Minions. And I get humor and everything like that is a matter of taste. But to me, I think more often than not, I think they're funny. They don't have a lot of 
importance to the plot. They're just there as little jokes. And most of those little jokes, I think, are pretty funny. I like minions. Do I have a stuffed plush minion in my house? No, but I probably will at some point. Have I dressed as a minion for Halloween before? Yes. One of the uh, schools that I was working with one year, the whole staff dressed up. Our principal was Gru, and all the staff dressed as minions. So I had a yellow sweatshirt with blue overalls, and then I wore goggles, swim goggles all day. So I'm not saying that you're wrong if you don't like them. I'm just saying for me, separating all the Facebook memes out, I like minions. I think they're funny. They're stupid and they're dumb, but they're supposed to be. So it works for me. I enjoyed rewatching this one again. Never seen two or three, so I'm going to get into those, and we'll see if I appreciate those as much. Thank you for watching this. Let me know any thoughts that you have, but those are the thoughts that I have. Thank you again for watching, and have a good day.